Hi everybody, Jody Ann Johnson here from Action Coach Team Sage in Miami. And in reflections on June Pride Month, I'm going back to how I grew up here in South Florida and the friends that I've had, uh, the people that I've worked with, and, uh, and my own views on diversity and inclusion. When I was a young woman, I became friends with a man named Jess Bickelhaupt. And uh, Jess was a gay man. He was probably my dearest friend in life. And unfortunately, Jess passed away about six months before the antiviral drugs became um, effective and were available out on the market um, some 20 years ago. Uh, it still can bring a tear to my eye. And back then, it was even though we were, you know, we were here in South Florida and it was a lot more welcoming uh, to the gay community here than it was in other parts of the world. I mean, one of the doctors I worked with in the emergency department moved from Kentucky to, to South Beach because he would be accepted here where he wasn't back home. Um, but coming back to Jess, um, I remember being up in South Carolina and uh, going to church with a friend of mine and hearing the priest talk about how AIDS was God's punishment for being gay, and I just, just got up and walked out. Um, could not subscribe to that. And, you know, I understand people have whatever different beliefs that they have, but my direct personal experience of Jest was that he was more a man of God than almost anyone else I'd ever known. So, I think for me, um, my parents raised me to be somebody who was you know, very open and welcoming. Um, everyone was welcome in our home. There were interracial couples, there were uh, gay uh, people, and I, I just never related to anybody as, as less than. Even if the conversation around me was um, homophobic or, um, or you know, I would never have something like that work in my organization um, or something along those lines, I've never felt that way. I've had a number of different clients through this business that uh, were lesbian couples. One of my clients was the first lesbian couple that got married here in Dade County. Um, you know, all, all types of uh, people that have been clients. And I think, you know, in all honesty, something of the transgender was a little bit more um, startling, I guess, to me. But today, there's so many types of sexuality, whether they're, you know, asexual or neutral or bisexual or transgender. Uh, I mean, there, it, it's almost like fluid, you know, people have their preferences. I remember just telling me, Jody, it was never a choice. I was born that way, I was always that way, and I always knew that about me. And so when it comes to the workplace, um, the most important thing, I think, is do I have the right person in the right seat, doing the right thing at the right time for the right reason. And it doesn't matter the color, the sexual orientation, or any of that. What matters is, do they fit on this team? And do they have the skill sets to be able to contribute to adding value to our customers? And so, as I reflect on, on my life and how blessed I've been to be raised by people who were inclusive and who embrace diversity and to live in a community that does the same, you know, not perfectly, but largely um, as welcoming uh, for people of every different type uh, is here in South Florida. Um, my heart breaks for those who still have to suffer, who are excluded, who are, um, who are uh, shamed of their orientation of which they mainly have never had a choice from the time they were born. 
They say that 10% of the population has always been thus from the beginning of time. Either way, as a business leader here at Action Coach, in our firm and throughout Action Coach, we embrace diversity and we embrace inclusiveness. And you know, may, may this be the norm in the very near future as we celebrate the month of June, Pride Month. Bye for now.